Well, sheriff's offices are warning residents about a rise in scam calls. These calls involve a person pretending to be a deputy, telling the person on the phone that they have missed court and owe money and that the fine can be paid over the phone. News at Anais Maya Graham joins us live from the Muskogee County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Amaya, it seems every few months or so we hear about the same type of scam, but people keep falling for it because these scammers can be very, very convincing. So tell us how the scams work and what our viewers need to, to look out for. Well, Barbara, these calls are happening right here in Muskogee and Harris County, and local officials tell me if you have ever wanted to hang up on a deputy, now is your chance. Officials say the sheriff's office will never reach out for payment over the phone. These scam calls are coming from people claiming to be from various organizations. They're calling for the court systems, they're calling for law enforcement, or they're calling for the U.S. government. IRS. Harris County Sheriff Mike Jolly says the callers may use names of actual deputies saying that the person's jury duty service has been missed, court dates have not been made, or they have unpaid taxes. The scammer then asks for the individual to get a green dot card and give them the information over the phone. No government agency, whether it's local, state, or federal government, will call you and ask for you to pay money over the phone. It just doesn't happen that way. Those calls sounding similar to this. This is Sergeant Sean Dahl. I'm not going to make contact with Miss Jackie Lynch. I've got some important legal matters I do need to discuss with you. And if you would, at your earliest convenience, please give me a call back. Those same calls happening in the Fountain City as well. Muskogee County Sheriff Greg Countryman says the scammers are going further than just making calls. The incident to, to happen actually this week to where someone met someone outside of the government center on the Second Avenue side, um, said that they were with the sheriff's office, had, had on a shirt that had a badge on it. I can't tell you what the shirt looked like, but the victim fell for it and brought the money. Sheriff Countryman says it's important to pay attention to details if you receive a call like this. If someone says sheriff department, that's not going to be anyone from the sheriff's department because we don't have a sheriff department. We have a sheriff's office. And so you have to look for certain things. If they give you a badge, uh, a badge number, we don't give out badge numbers here. For our, our viewers in Lee County, Alabama, those calls are also happening in that area. So be aware and stay vigilant. Live in Columbus, I'm Amaya Graham reporting for WTVM News Leader 9. Well, certainly the scammers are definitely vigilant.